Hello everyone, my name is Michael Madden and in this video I want to go through some of the price action we've been monitoring recently in Bitcoin and maybe one or two other of the cryptocurrencies. However, I want you to be aware that the, the nuances we're going to talk about and the, um, the patterns, it holds true for any market we're following with regard to the wave principle. So the tendencies that price action does and the guidelines it follows when we have wave patterns unfolding on all time frames, it's the very same approach that we take and advise people to take when applying the wave principle in real time. So let me just take a quick look at um, some of the price action through February and I want to highlight some of the nuances that we're watching and also a quick review of what has just unfolded. So if we go back to Bitcoin's price action here on our intraday service where we have the 1st of February and on the right hand side I have a four hour chart from the service and then we have that one hour chart on the left hand side. If you take a look at the four hour chart, we can see that the price action from the wave three peak is in three waves and it's overlapping and corrective. But take a look at the, the channel. We see the price action broke out of that channel and it came back to trade back inside the channel again. And if you can see the angle of the price action as, as it's coming back to test the channel, we can see that the price action is aware of that angle of descent. So if I was to take a parallel line from the upper boundary of the channel, it would be close enough to the lows of the price action there that's now unfolding at 32,231. But what's important here is the impulsive nature of the breakout of the channel. So we have a very bullish wave count here, a 1-2-1-2 setup. That is favoring that a third wave is going to extend should, it, should this be the correct wave count. The impulsive nature of the price action that's breaking out of the channel, it's worth noting because that is the type of price action we want to see when we're anticipating or looking for a third wave to unfold. So the price action that's correcting back into the channel is so far in three waves and that is a counter trend move. So overall, you can see from our text, we were quite bullish at this juncture and we're looking for price action to continue higher. So if we move on our price section now and we're on the 15th middle way through February now and we can see we did get um, a significant breakout and the third wave is unfolding. But also take a look at the price section that we're monitoring. Um, it's quite impulsive in nature for the center part. We were looking for a third of a third. So the middle part of that third wave is basically vertical. And that is a good indication that you do have that third of a third wave unfolding. But also notice that price action, when it took out that wave one high that we we're watching, so that's where the price action broke out of the corrective price channel, the price action came back and retested the wave one high before it got going again. So for a lot of traders, they're um, wondering, should they trade on a breakout or should they wait for that retest? And no matter what type of trader you become, there's going to be plenty of opportunities where you miss the trade. So you, you decide that you won't trade a breakout and you wait for a retest and a certain percentage of the time, the price action will not retest, it will continue higher. You have to decide that you're willing to accept that and not chase the market when that happens. And then vice versa, if you decide that you're going to trade a breakout, you have to allow for corrective pullbacks to that area. So when price action is unfolding in real time, that is not the time to be making that decision. These are decisions that should be made within a trade plan prior to engaging in any um, potential opportunities. That is some of the theory that we cover within the um, trading courses we, we teach. But this is technical analysis that one should be um, considering and applying also. So next I want to bring your attention to the base channel we're working with. So we're working with a base channel established from the lows of purple wave two and blue wave two. And you can see once we broke out of that channel, price action has come back to it and the advance has taken on the angle of the upper boundary of the channel. So this is significant also because it gives us some confidence that the price action is adhering to the guidelines that we're applying to it. So when we're using base channels and impulse channels, you want the price action to adhere to those trend lines. Um, you want to see it gain support and not to be just trading through those lines and um, not showing you any recognition. So when I hear people say that trend channeling and trend lines is very subjective, I couldn't um, disagree more because when you're using the correct channels, that the price action will adhere to it and that's basically 
how you know when you're on the right track. If the price action is not adhering to your trend lines, you need to reconsider the pattern and the model you're working with. That's from years of experience now I'm saying that. So if you take a look at the 90 minute chart, you can see that the corrective nature of the price action that is actually trading up by that channel is taking the form of a triangle. So here we have our key levels established for within that pattern and we're looking for price action to continue in the uptrend and break out of it. So I want you to be aware of the channel we're working with, the key levels we're working with, and the pattern we're working with. So the triangle pattern is suggesting the trend is still up and that the price action will break aggressively higher. We also must be aware that when we are trading or looking at triangles, they perceive the final move within the wave movement at one higher degree. That means that it's the fifth wave or the C wave. So if this is the third of a third, it is just the fifth wave within this third wave forecast. So not necessarily a significant peak, but it must be aware that price action could peak and actually pull back um, quite significantly. If the trend is still very bullish, we, ex we expect support at the area of that triangle on a pullback. So that is very valuable and significant amount of information that we're getting just from understanding the wave principle. So this is something that we're constantly monitoring and keeping in mind when we're tracking price action. So under this fourth wave triangle scenario, we're looking for a break of the upside key levels to signal the pattern is ended and that the fifth wave is underway. So there's a lot of information there for one to consider a trade setup. No matter what the market is, these are the same patterns unfolding within various time frames. So if we move on to price action a few more hours, we can see that we have started to push above those upside key levels. It's very early within the fifth wave forecast. However, at this juncture, with the information we're getting, we now can establish the post triangle trust measurement, which is taken from the widest part of the triangle and from the origin of the triangle. And we extend that then from the termination point of the triangle. So that gives us an upside key level. And if you quickly see the text that we're working with, we're also looking at a 2.618 Fibonacci projection for blue wave three which is located at 56,620. So close enough to that post triangle trust measurement, which gives us a zone. We also have the upper boundary of the impulse channel for this third wave, established from red waves two and four, and also take a close look at the apex of the triangle. I've extended the boundaries and we have a vertical line. So that can often give us a time projection so it doesn't necessarily have to be where the fifth wave or the trust will end. It sometimes does, but it can often sometimes give us a period of volatility where we'll see a spike in the price action. So personally, I would look for it to be the third wave within the trust or that five wave advance, or else it could coincide with the termination of the um, five wave advance. So you can keep that in mind also. And more importantly, we have a reason to raise our key level to work with to reduce the risk that is associated with the forecast that we're working with. Here with some more price action, now you can see where we're considering waves one and two and at the third wave then over the vertical line, which I'm considering it could coincide with the peak of it or the acceleration within it. Either way, it's just some more information that the price action has given us. And this is something that you have to be aware of and using it on an ongoing basis because the price action is unfolding it's given us more information with regard to what to expect but more importantly it's given us more information to look back on the price action that we're working with check it see is the is the future price action adhering to what the prior price action would have forecasted exactly like a trust out of a triangle we do want to see a slow very corrective overlapping advance it could be a diagonal however Generally, with a triangle, we get the powerful move out of it. It's, it's a breakout following a period of consolidation. And plus, we can use the higher wave degree count. We're favoring a third wave as unfolding, a third of a third. So we want to see aggressive price action and strength in the, in the move. So on a few more sessions, we see that price action did come up and it pulled back at that um, intersection point with the triangle. 
The price action was corrective in nature. We tested the lower boundary of the, of the impulse channel that we're working with, and now the impulsive nature of the advance suggests that the next phase of red wave five is unfolding. We can raise our key level. We're reducing our risk, protecting the outlook. If wave five is unfolding, we do not want to see price action trade below that trend line. And should that occur, that suggests that the five waves are already in place. There's nothing subjective about that. Channeling is one of the most important guidelines one can incorporate when applying the wave principle. So here now, a few days later, we can see price action did take a significant advance after that correction completed. We have tagged the post triangle trust measurement and also take a look at our four hour chart here where we have the 2.618 Fibonacci projection that we looked at back on the 1st of February. Price action has now tested that also. So when we approach these projected targets, one has to be aware of them and then be alert to the possibility that price action has met um, these common guideline targets. So basically, we're working with the ratios that we associate with the development of these um, impulse patterns, corrective patterns, etc. So we recognize the 1.618 and the 2.618 Fibonacci projections as the third wave targets. So under that scenario, we have our alternate count, which is suggesting that we have a significant advance already in place for red wave five, and this could be the peak. We have our key levels and we have our trend lines to guide us at this juncture. So while price action is trading between the highlighted range of 54,000 and 58,000, we have specific levels to guide us for further upside or to favor a peak has been registered. And here you can see that price action did peak at that third wave. We took out our key level we were working with and we took it out significantly. So that is why one has to respect key levels, one has to respect trend lines. And when you have a valid reason for using them and believing in them, that gives you a much greater respect for them. And that's what you hope should keep you on the right side of the market. So under that third wave peak, price action and now is pulling back to the area of the previous fourth wave at one lesser degree, another significant guideline. So when we were considering the third wave peak, something has to be in your mind. If price action is going to correct, where is it going to go to? When we're dealing with a third wave advance, we look for the area of the previous fourth wave at one lesser degree. And price action did come back and is testing that 45,000 area um, now. So at this area, we have, we are, so therefore at this area, price action is now back and it looks like it's in the three waves testing that area. So we want to see support to keep our bullish outlook intact. If the price action starts to break lower and continues to do so in an impulsive manner, that will be a warning that will have to reconsider the wave degree of the peak. And while the price action did make a significant pullback, it is in the context of a higher wave degree uptrend. So at this juncture, we are on the lookout for evidence to see if we do have a three wave pullback in place. So if I just take you back to the chart that we started with, which is the 1st of February, you can see we've got a corrective price channel. We're looking for a breakout of the corrective price channel. The single a three wave pullback is in place and we're looking for the resumption of the uptrend. And just switching back to this chart here from the 23rd of February, you can see we've got a corrective price channel established. We're looking for a breakout of the corrective price channel to favor a, a three-wave pullback is in place. And from there, we should have price action to work with and then more evidence for us to consider the significance of the prior low before the breakout. Just quickly, if we take a look at Litecoin, if we go back to the early days of February, we also were working with a bullish outlook at a different setup However, it's still a very bullish pattern. So you can see we have the triangle pattern in a fourth wave position, and we're looking for price action to push higher with a key level of 125.80. Just like the Bitcoin scenario, we're looking for a violation of the pattern's upper key levels, and that then gives us guidance to favor that the trust higher is underway. And here is an update from mid-February. I just want to highlight the um, extended boundaries of the triangle also. 
and we have the time projection you can see we did get some volatility when price action crossed that <clears throat> and that coincided with the center of the third wave advance for this blue wave three we got a pullback to the upper boundary of that base channel we were working with price action used it as support and continued higher we were able to raise our key level along the way and we were eventually up at 187.18 looking higher in this blue wave five or possibly from a still unfolding um, triangle for blue wave four and here you can see price action did push higher we came up and traced out five waves from that 87.16 area and that concluded the fifth wave um, or blue wave five once we got a breakout of the impulse channel we were working with you can see here in a 90 minute chart we got an impulsive pullback and that favor then the trust higher for this purple wave five had ended and that the price action is turning lower um, and as you can see it's within a higher wave degree four wave. so we'll have left allow for a more bearish pullback and that then will set us up for the resumption of that uptrend from the daily and weekly charts finally i just want to quickly show you ethereum and just we take a look at our six hour chart and you can see where we have a triangle for this red wave four and then within the red wave five we have a triangle that unfolded for a lower degree four wave so although we have a triangle here for this red wave four and we're anticipating a terminal trust to complete blue wave three we, we have a triangle then within that advance so that is being aware of the wave degrees of the price action that you're dealing with and how you keep track of that is using your trend channels and trend lines we got a test of the post triangle trust measurement here also and you can see here where we had the extended boundaries and then the apex gave us that vertical line and you can see that that apex did coincide quite closely to the, the peak of that um, trust and here you can see price action is just starting to break out of the um, impulse channel for this red wave five that then is the early warning that the peak is in place and once the end of the previous fourth wave of one lesser degree is violated we then take that as the confirming price action before i finish this video i'd like for you to take away the nuances that i've shared with you with regard to the price action and to be aware that applying this sort of analysis is the same with any market it's the very same as we would be using within euro dollar between the cross weight cryptocurrencies stock market gold whatever it's working with the rules and the guidelines understanding when and where to apply key levels and trying not too hard to fight the trend if you have any questions or queries don't hesitate to email in and we'll get back to you thank you for watching i'll talk to you all again soon